High profile murder case will be back in court. Karen Reed is accused of killing her boyfriend, John O'Keefe, a Boston police officer, during a snowstorm last year. And now her attorneys are trying to poke holes in the prosecution's case. The I team's chief investigator, Cheryl Fiandaka, who's also a lawyer, joins us now live. Cheryl, talk of conspiracy here, conspiracies here. Sounds like it's getting kind of messy. What is tomorrow's hearing about? Well, tomorrow's hearing is going to be both lawyers are going to be asking the judge for different things. The defense is going to ask the judge for access to the cell phone records of one of the witnesses, that person also a Boston police officer who owned the home where O'Keefe's body was found on the lawn. Now, Reed's team claims the prosecution has not turned over all of the evidence it has in the case and wants the raw cell phone data so their experts can review it. It also says that the victim's injuries point to a brutal fight and are not consistent with being hit by a car. Now, the prosecution says that's not true and that it did turn over all of the evidence it has and it says that the emergency room doctor that pronounced the victim dead did not find any evidence to suggest that O'Keefe was involved in a fight. Wow, so this really is getting messy. What mm -hmm. could happen tomorrow in court? Well, likely both sides will re, you know, get to present their case to the judge, and then the judge could take some time to make a decision. Now, by law, the prosecution has to turn over all of the evidence it has in this case, even if it's something that exonerates Reed, uh -huh. and also that the prosecution has to prove beyond a reasonable doubt during trial that she, in fact, did commit the this manslaughter and the defense doesn't have to prove anything all it has to do is hope that the inconsistencies create that reasonable doubt so we'll see if tomorrow provides any additional clarity in this case exactly all right thank you Cheryl David all right thank you Cheryl and Lisa